Okay, so I'm gonna dichotomously, dichotomously key out um, from the Buckwheat family. It's on, it's Polygonacy um, on page 637. Number one, it says woody vines with tendrils um, herb on prime, perennial, rarely woody, or annual herbs of vines than without tendrils. So there's no tendrils. Um, it's not really woody. Um, and it is perennial because it comes back and this was in an abandoned field. So I'm going to say it was planted there last year. And here it is again. So one prime says to go to two. Um, oak tree absent leaves white tommy toes beneath stems woolly villous. Or I'm sorry, two says oak tree absent. And then two prime says oak tree present, which it is. Um, <coughs> leaves, <coughs> excuse me not white tommy toes beneath um stem smooth or pubescent but not woolly so the stem is smooth and there is an ochrea um you can't really see it but it's like the little sheath coming up from that so <clears throat> now we're going to go to number three number three says sub shrubs branches appearing to arise between nodes or it's an herb, branches arising at nodes. So, the branches are arising at the nodes, and it was definitely an herb. So, um, now let's just go to number four. Number four is that the sepals, or the tepals, six. In two series of three each, the inner three enlarging in fruit and developing external tubercules. Sepals five in a single whorl, not particularly enlarging in fruit, and not developing external tubercules. So, I have to look up tubercules. Um in my this book and i determined that the sepals and tepals are in six and two series of three each and the inner three enlarging in fruit whenever it is ready um and developing external tubercules so that makes it a uh, room x so now we're going to flip over to page 642 that's the room x um Number one says at least some leaves hastate or sagitate. The leaves, um, so they're kind of crunchy. I'm sorry they died by the time I got home and ate dinner and then decided to do this. Sorry. But the leaves were not sagitate. Um, and you can see that in the picture that I uploaded for the scavenger hunt. So the leaves are various, but none hastate or sagitate. So that's what I'm going to go with one prime. Two says vowels with prominent teeth that are longer than wide or vowels with entire or crenate margin teeth if present wider than long. So once again, I had to go back and look and see what that kind of meant um, in my book and then look at the picture. So the vowels um, with entire or crenate margins teeth if present wider than long. That's what I'm going to go with because there wasn't on the vowels, um, they didn't really have prominent teeth. And they were wider more than long. Um, so, number three says pedestals greater than or equal to 10, middle mil medium, <laughs> 10 millimeters long. Much longer than the mature calyx, strongly deflexed in fruit. Um, or three prime says pedestals less than 10 millimeters long, shorter than the mature calyx. Slightly, if at all, deflexed in fruit. So... I'm going to go with three prime because the pedestals are um, less than 10 millimeters long. They're really kind of small. Um, and there's slightly, if at all, any deflexed fruit. So, uh, that says go to number four. Flower clusters, um, obviously separated on the flowering axis. Or flowers, and four prime says flowers flowers clusters can contiguous on the flowering axis so if you see they um are kind of contiguous that's what i would say there so then um go to number five and it says leaves with finely crisp margins, mature calyx, less than six millimeters long, gr grains two thirds wide as long, or leaves with flat margins, 
mature calyx is greater than six millimeters long, grain one half as wide as long. So the leaves were crisp at the margins. Um, so then that makes it that it's um, Rumex Crispus.